Hey guys, before this video gets started, I want to thank you guys for all the support I've been getting the last few weeks on Twitch and Discord. Uh, make sure you follow those for more content and more fun. Uh, before this video also gets started, I want to announce that I have started a coaching service. So if you are interested in that, just want to get better, feel like you're not pushing yourself enough, uh, make sure you check that out in the description and on my Discord. I don't want to go much into it here, mainly because... You guys are obviously here for the Hammer Guide, which I also worked very hard on and hope you guys enjoy. So if you learned something, make sure you leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have fun. Yo, people. It's Remy. Past Yumiko main, Bodvar God, and avid Hammer player here with the Hammer Guide. This guide was created to assist Hammer players at all levels from new to old, better their gameplay, and push themselves and the weapon to the highest level. I hope you learned something new. Enjoy the guide. One of the original weapons in Brawlhalla, Hammer features a mix of long and short range moves in the kit. With moves that come in a variety of ranges and speeds, Hammer has a diverse kit that allows you to pick how you play, whether that be fast and loose, or slow and conserving. If you'd like to play loose with the rules and create your own opportunities, Hammer is for you. There are 9 Hammer characters in Brawlhalla. The 9 Hammer characters include Bodvar, the Unconquered Viking, Cassidy, the Marshal of the Old West, Nash, the first real man, Scarlet, the Da Vinci of Steam, Sentinel, the Hammer of Justice, Taros, the Minotaur, Kor, the Golem, Yumiko, the Kitsune, and Thor, the God of Thunder. Hammer Legends have been released with a variety of stats. Bodvar brings a balanced stat spread while Nash focuses less on decks and more on raw speed and force. Cassidy, on the other hand, sacrifices speed and defense for an 8 dex hammer. While Dex does offer some combos on the weapon that I'll be going into later, speed and force are the most important factors to me. I recommend literally all the Hammer Legends, just find one with the right sigs for you. While Hammer's moves don't flow into each other very well, they do however force options out of opponents allowing you to find heavy punishes, and with a strong neutral game, this gets the job done. Hammer's kit features the following moves. The Endlight, a short range jab-esque move that's mainly used to cover one's mistakes. It also sets up low health combos. The Downlight, a low to the ground stomp with mid range used to cover whiffs, stop approaches, and start combos. It's your main punish tool. The Sidelight, a quick and simple approach tool that hits in front of the user with high priority. Towards the end of this move you may find the sweet spot, I call this Soft Sidelight. This version of Sidelight trades in 2 damage for 2 stun. Nair. Extremely high in damage as well as a huge hitbox covering stacked and above the user. Nair acts as a pressure tool and approach tool in Hammer's kit. Ser. Slow but big, Hammer Ser acts as a move to control the area in front of the user, not always meant to hit, but always controlling. Dare. A quick scooping move that's used to quickly get out of a situation and sometimes force an approach. Recovery. Quite the opposite of the dare, an upwards grabble that sends the opponent straight down. Used for recovering safely or creating new options. Ground Pound. A straightforward, high priority ground pound, medium speed, high force, and high damage. Since Hammer is so heavily affected by variable force, its combo game shifts very hard as the opponent's stock goes on. At white, there are numerous combos and opportunities you can make for yourself, but as the stock goes on, it gets a lot more linear. True combos for all HPs include Downlight Dare. Downlight Recovery, Downlight Nair. True combos at white slash low HPs include Downlight Sidelight, Ser Endlight, Endlight Sidelight, Downlight Endlight, Downlight Dare Recovery, Nair Recovery, Soft Sidelight Endlight. True combos for medium to late HPs include Downlight Ser, Downlight Recovery Dare, Recovery GC Downlight. Strings include Downlight Downlight, Downlight Sidelight Endlight, Sidelight Endlight, Dare Endlight, Sidelight Downlight, Soft Sidelight Downlight. Some reads include Sidelight Jump Read Ser or Nair, Sidelight Dodge Read Ser, Endlight Dodge Read Ser, and Sidelight Dodge Read GC Downlight. Slow and steady. 
Hammer requires smart movement. While the weapon controls a lot of space, you need to be careful about where you are in comparison to your opponent. Your goal is to limit the chances they have to punish you while also making sure they have to move in a certain way to avoid your hitboxes. Watch how pressure and movement in these clips find Hammer players considerable damage. Missing a hammer move leaves you in a very vulnerable position. Most people can easily take advantage of a whiff Sarah or find themselves able to punish the long active frames of Endlight. Hammer doesn't get to freely throw out moves besides the downlight. Sidelight commits you forward, and the aerials all have very high active frames. You should try moving with your moves which will allow them to cover for you. Knowledge of your attacks, their ranges, their recovery will help you better understand how to move with Hammer. When you have it down, your opponents start moving where you want them. Try to move around your opponent. Throw out your moves to force them to getting attacked by other moves. Took them out the map. I feel like Hammer is a weapon where you worry less about yourself and mainly worry about catching your opponent out. Moving when you need to get control, don't dodge for no reason, and keep your eyes on the opponent. As they move, you move to gain a better position. Force situations just like you would on any other weapon. On the ground, focus on your dashes so you can pressure with sideline and downlight. In the air, drift onto them with Nair and apply pressure with Sarah. Hammer doesn't hold angles very well because it lacks an aerial approach at high level besides Nair. When you master area control and pressuring with movement on Hammer, you'll become king. Here are some basic tips to help you with Hammer. Since your variable force scales so hard, juggling falls off at later health. Earlier you can look to juggle with Nairs though. Watch how they fall, pressure with Nair and Sair while moving towards them. Throw out an attack that makes someone move into the other ones. Crazy, right? But it works. Space control is your best friend. Downlight so you can end light, Sarah so you can nair. Dash is your friend on this weapon. Dash impulse on side light as well as dash downlight to pressure and force movement. This helps with catching landings with downlight into Sarah. Kill options. Hammer is a kill option. Literally the entire kit is made to kill. Besides recovery on stage and side light, Everything kills. Sigs are usually heavy on most characters, but that's pretty irrelevant when you look at Hammer's light attack kit. Hammer's kill options include Russian Mafia at 150, Grounded Nair at 200, Endlight at 200, Dare at 170, Sarah at 190, Downlight Sarah at 170, Downlight Dare at 160, and GC Downlight Nair at 170. Edge Guards. This weapon basically plays itself off stage. People don't name it as one of the best offstage weapons, but it actually has a lot of pressure given time and patience. Your recovery is in contention for one of the best offstage moves in the game, and the rest of your moves thrown out should be forcing your opponent into a position to be hit by their recovery. Ground Pound has extremely high force, variable, and fixed, making it a good option to cover the wall and push off after landing a recovery. You can find yourself taking stock super early when you pair these two moves with stray stairs and wall bounces. In these clips you can see Hammer players finding themselves considerable leads with consistent but strong offstage play. Matchups. Hammer doesn't struggle too hard right now against most weapons. Ignoring weapons that are just better than it, it keeps up with most others in the meta. It has a good matchup against Katars based on chip and numbers. 
Gauntlets can outrange Hammer with its Dalai, but gets outprioritized in a lot of other scenarios. Lance is scary if they stay on the ground, but you can find openings in the air. Hammer can range anywhere on a tier list depending on the meta and what's around it. The game was just patched on the 8th of July, so I won't comment on this too much. Don't forget to integrate your character's strengths and weaknesses sig-wise and stat-wise. While you won't lose much on the base of stats, besides speed and some loose dex combos, sigs are very important to the nature of some kits. Find out the true combos such as downlight n-sig on core and Cassidy, and the nutty sig coverages like Nash d-sig and Yumiko n-sig. A hammer player looking to grow needs to better understand keeping track of options. You can get huge damage punishes if you keep a good eye on your opponent. Good disengages make it hard for people to catch back up in damage, slowly chipping away at their HP since hammer has the highest damage values in the game. Understanding your limitations like on any weapon plays a huge part too. Hammer doesn't get too hard till the very high ranks. At low level play you can find yourself throwing out whatever moves you want as long as you don't leave yourself too open to punishes. The big hitboxes just scare low level players. Try to practice seeing how far your moves send at what HPs to know what you're going to follow up with next. There aren't many true combos after a certain point, so get the value you can from the combos at white. Hammer is a good weapon to start out Brawlhalla with. Because of its high value on basics, when you have the basics down, not only can you move them onto another weapon that's less lenient, you can use them to better use the hammer itself and create opportunities and punishes that you see fit. For high level hammer play in North America, look no further than Remy, Lilcap, and Ithra. In Europe, you're looking at Acno, Simple, and Blue. Brazil regularly brings out their own variation of hammer play, and Kyler Alex has shown great creativity with the weapon in Australia. Thanks to my friends for playing against my hammer, thanks to Zakoi for some of the combos and damage values, thanks to BMG for everything, and thank you all for watching. Stay safe.